Hey folks, Don Garbutt here from New Frontiers Audio. This video series is going to take a look at the Sugar Bites Obscurium. Obscurium is a combination of a very interesting sequencer with a flexible synthesis engine. In this first video, we'll take a look at the synthesis part of the system. In the following videos, we'll look at the sequencing potential and all the modulation of the sequence data that's possible. I'm working from a bank of presets called Synthesis Examples. You can download this bank of presets by clicking on the link in the video description. On the preset Analog to FM Mix, you'll see that the mix parameter is showing. You can select between the analog and the FM by moving this control. Now I'll create a sequence that will sweep between the two. Let's take a look at the FM synthesis capability. FM involves modulator and carrier oscillators. The amplitude of the modulating oscillators controls the amount of FM. That's controlled by parameter FM1. If you click on the Sound tab, you can see the algorithms which are deployed in the FM synthesis. The algorithms show the wiring of the modulator and carrier oscillators. I'm not going to go into a whole theoretical discussion of FM synthesis here, but we can get quite a variety of results by choosing between the three different algorithms. The ratio knob allows you to control the ratio of the frequencies of the modulating oscillators to the carrier oscillators. With the harmonic button on, the ratios are all whole numbered. I'm just going to go to this patch and make all the FM values maxed out. And now I'm going to change the ratio. So we hear how it stays note-like. If we take off harmonic, then we'll hear some non-note-like clangorous sounds. As we get into the mystery fractional ratios. Starting with the preset called FM Amount Algorithm 1, you'll be able to hear the sequencer sending different values to the amount parameter. You can advance to the next preset where you can hear the second algorithm with the same stepping sequence. And here's the same with Algorithm 3. As we hear, we have quite different timbres depending on the algorithm chosen. Preset 5 lets you hear changes in the carrier frequency. Changes in the carrier frequency are controlled by parameter FMX. The following two presets test out this sequence on algorithms 2 and 3. And with the harmonic button off, when we change the ratio, here we go for some crazy stuff. So now we're heading into some of the wildest stuff that can be done with the FM synth. Preset number 8 demonstrates the tuning of the carrier oscillator, which is controlled by parameter FMX. When algorithm 3 is chosen, you hear a type of formant shift. Preset number 4 demonstrates the FM2 parameter, which is a feedback circuit in the FM algorithm. Now let's go to preset number 21. This demonstrates the analog waveforms. To hear the analog waves, we go to the mix parameter and we make sure that the value is at zero. Standard sawtooth wave. Now if we go to the wave parameter, you can see that all the values are up at the top. If we bring these to the bottom, we'll hear the square wave. The square wave gets a little more interesting when we add pulse width modulation. Preset 22 demonstrates this. Here's the pulse width modulation parameter. You can see a rising and falling value in the parameter light. I'm getting ahead a little bit here, but I've used a low frequency oscillator modulator to sweep the pulse width. That functionality is set by clicking here, where you can mix modulation sources from an envelope generator and a low frequency oscillator to control that value. That LFO and an envelope generator are found under the Mods tab. These mods can be assigned to any of the parameters in Obscurium. These modulators can be very useful in the FM amount and the cutoff point control and the sync amount. You can see the effect of pulse width modulation on the waveform here on this scope. If 
you want to deactivate a parameter, you can click on this triangle here. There's a sync mode where there's a secondary oscillator that is added in. Sync works this way. A secondary oscillator has its cycle reset by the onset of the cycle of the main oscillator. So in short, the secondary oscillator can be tuned higher, but its cycle will always restart when the start of the cycle of the main oscillator happens. This is a classic old analog trick. It allows you to exaggerate a harmonic in the original sound. The final sync preset that I have available here is a Sauce Sync Envelope preset. Here we have the modulator envelope generator controlling the synchronization pitch. I haven't mentioned anything about envelope generators and we've been working today with the MIDI on button. While this mode has allowed us to play polyphonically, it disables all the fancy sequencing capabilities of the pitch, the chord, and the arpeggiator. We'll talk about those in the next video. The preset called Cutoff Sequence is demonstrating movement on the cutoff point of the filter. It also shows some movement between the three filter types, low pass, band pass, and high pass. So the filter section has the cutoff, resonance, and filter type options here. In addition, we can add in the noise generator. <laughs> So that's it for this video. In the next video, I'm going to talk about clocking, envelope triggering, and an introduction to the scales and chords functions. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.